Sorry, I said another video today. This one is by Wig Encounters. You can check them up on the World Wide Web. You will get a stocking cap and this gorgeous glueless full lace wig, which has three combs in the front and a comb and adjustable strap in the nape area. Along with that, it is a full lace wig, which means you can part this anywhere. And if you guys seen that, it is a net. Bang. So this wig does come with bangs, which is great. You can also customize your bangs. So if it doesn't come full enough to your liking, you can go ahead and make it a little bit fuller. And here is inches of 18. So it's 18 inches Indian Remy wavy hair. And this one is the BW026. I'll definitely list the links below. As you guys see, I'm going to go ahead and part the hair and just use a little bit of my water with conditioner in it just to spray it down and easily lay it. Normally, you can just go ahead and wash the wig and put a part in it. But because it's straight out the box, I'm just going to put my own part in it as we go along. So you guys see what I'm using. Like, this is my favorite, favorite tool in the whole wide world, which is my barrel curler from Is Irre Irresistible Me, which comes in eight different interchangeable wand sizes. So I love this to lay my hair down. Like, I do have a hot comb, a hot comb, but I like the barrel curler so much better. So the parting in it is great. You do need to customize it. If you want it to look as natural as possible so I'm just going to flatten it in certain areas and then I'm going to go ahead and just make a part the first part to doing that I'm going to go ahead and just put on um, a clip on this bang that was already you know banged in there and I'm going to just flatten a little bit more and I'm also going to customize my own bag so like I said you will need to customize it if it's not as full as you would like it and I don't really think that it's even so prior to me even going and doing anything I'm going to just once again press the sides as you guys see the hairline does look really great especially for a straight out the box wig and normally what I like to do with those sideburn baby hairs I will definitely customize those by cutting them a little bit shorter but I'm probably going to leave it just as is for the sake of this video the lace is very very light so it does match my hair texture or excuse me my skin texture really good but um, sometimes when we do get these lace loops, as you guys can see they may not fit us properly meaning the tabs may go a little bit too far down and the lace may be on our actual ears so you want to customize them as close as possible as far as the bang goes it wasn't even along with that it wasn't um, thick enough for me so I'm just going to try to even it out as best as I can it doesn't have to be like a perfect part because no one has seen it if you choose them not to but I do like it to be somewhat perfect so that way when I do want you guys to see it you're able to so I did my job and now I'm going to go ahead and cut some of this bang I did take some of the longer limbs hairs and I add that to the bang and so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to twist the hair and cut a little bit underneath of my eyes because cutting it too short will not help one bit because it's not going to grow back so I do like to cut it a little bit longer so that way I can see how I want it style and for this bang I just want to have it kind of like wispy so I'm going to go ahead and use my irresistible knee flat iron along with the curling rod set so as you guys see the bang is full it's not super duper full but as you know you guys can always just use your scissors and a good comb and just customize it now, Wig Encounters does have some affordable units. They've actually moved it up a couple of notches on their website, meaning I have worked with them when they first was released, and they hair was decent. It wasn't the best thing in the world, but I will say they have just come a lot further in the wig game, meaning their wigs are a lot more natural as opposed to as they first were. So I did spray some of my infamous Aussie, well, not, excuse me, not Aussie, but Pump It Up holding spray in the Super Hold. I love this hairspray. It's great for holding your wigs down. And that's what I'm gonna do. Normally, I will use mousse first and then the hairspray, but because I don't really have to do too much with this unit because it's a bang, I don't have to use both products, so I'm just going to use the hairspray, and this will suffice. It'll work just as well. Now, also, you may want to cut these sideburns on the hair because you don't want them too long. A little bit of too many baby hairs is just too many. So I try to minimize it as much as possible because I'm not like a huge fan of baby hairs, but I am a huge fan of this wig, hunties, and look at it. Like, it looks so natural on the sides the lace everything like it looks like it was customized but it wasn't and I would definitely say you would want to check out wig encounters because they do have some pretty decent wigs if I must say so myself you also want to make sure that you flatten the sides as flat as possible so that way your sides are not bulky and it's mimicking 
um, your all natural hair. So I'm just going to take it and brush it upwards, run my fingers through it and such. And let's see what the outcome is to this particular hairstyle. So being that it's full lace, you can part this unit anywhere. You don't have to glue it down because it is a glueless full lace wig at 18 inches. And I do believe the density is 150%, but I'll make sure to post all of that info for you guys below just in case I want something else. Um, and so now I'm going to just take one of my scrunchie ties and I'm going to go ahead and make me a ponytail on the top. You can also use this to make a bun, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to make a ponytail. Kind of gives me like that 90s vibe, okay? And then I'm going to remove the bang, and it's really cute. It looks like a wispy full bang. I don't think anybody would ever think that this was an actual wig. Not because of parting, but just because of the way I have the hairstyle and pull back along with the very minimal baby hairs on the unit. So this is like my 90s vibe. You know, all I'm missing is like a windbreaker suit. And girl, I am wet to go. The hair texture is pretty, it's very silky, it's a natural wave. You can definitely wash this and I do believe more wave will come to it. But you can also use a barrel curler to just curl it and make it more wave here. Or you can also flat iron it. It all depends on you, the viewer, the consumer. And here I'm just going to give the hair a, a little couple of extra waves so that way the wave pattern is definitely on sleep. And I know you guys don't want to see me doing this throughout the entire video so I will just speed it up and kind of like time lapse to it so you don't have to see me or watch me doing the whole entire wave. Also, just to make the knots more concealed and invisible, you may want to use some of your pressed powder that is identical to your skin tone. So that way you can just lay it on the knots of the unit and that way no one will be able to see them. And just a little bit more touch-ups to this wig and I'm almost done. guys enjoyed this video this is just a quick tutorial of how I flip the hair over um, please excuse my voice because I am not feeling that great allergy season has got me to go but you can definitely check out with encounters below I post all of the information for you guys stay even delicious I love you and I'll see you guys on the soon to come video bye